everyone, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest and today I want to show you how to get this ultra glitzy glittery holiday slash New Year's look. Whenever I think of the holiday season and New Year's I just think nothing but gold, glitter, and a red lip. It's just so festive and it's one of the few times in the year I personally feel like I can pull it off. So this is a tutorial where I combine all those things, my favorite red lipstick for the year, a fun color ta or color tattoo, eye tattoo from Violent Eyes or Violent Lips, whatever, and get this look. It's actually pretty minimal products, but it comes out with an ultra glam kind of effect. So if you want to see how I do it, please continue watching. Now I'm using Revlon's Photo Ready. This is the color correcting primer. Just putting a dollop of that and spreading that, mostly focusing on my T-zone because I have combination skin, so T-zone and then blending outward. I just feel like it makes my foundation go on very smoothly and it helps it last. As a primer should, obviously. Now for foundation, you might be able to notice that I've been spraying a little bit, trying out a new self-tanner. So my face is white and my body is a little bit darker, so I'm going to be using this NYX, which is slightly darker than I am right now, but it's like the, sh the color of my chest. So I'm going to be using that as foundation, just putting a little bit on the back of my hand and then going in with a Real Techniques brush and buffing that in. This is the NYX HD Studio Foundation, by the way, which I really, um, I really like. Obviously it's darker so I wore it more during the summer, but it gives a really nice flawless finish and it's less, I'm, I'm sure it's probably trying to be like Makeup Forever's HD foundation, but it gives a much less dewy finish, which I really like because for as much as I used to like the Makeup Forever HD, it just over time would get very, very dewy. So this is, this is nice. Then for concealer, I'm going to take my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and my Time Balm Concealer because it's a little bit heavier duty. And because this is a party look, you want it to be able to last through the night, all night. And this is a bit, bit more heavy duty than other concealers I have. So I like to use this on days or nights where I know I might need a little extra oomph on under eyes and blemishes. So I use this mostly to fill in the front of my brows here, just using small little strokes to create the appearance of hairs, which is one of the reasons why I love this is because the tip of this makes it really easy to get that hair-like appearance, no thick chunky lines, making it readily apparent that you just drew your eyebrows in. So. so for the eyes, I'm using these Violent Eye Eye Tattoos. I imagine this is in the, sh in the shade color Gold Glitterati, but I'll double check and put the the correct name in the information bar. I'm going to go for these second smallest because it's the holidays, go big or go home, I mean not all the way big, you could go all the way big, but I figure since I'm doing a pretty pretty red, deep red lip, um, I'll stick to the second smallest, that way it's some pop, but not too much, not overwhelmingly so. So with these, I have a glass of water and a Q-tip. And what I do is wet the Q-tip slightly and roll that along the backing. Just a little bit. You don't want to douse it just yet. Just enough to make it curl and make the tattoo itself become a little bit tacky. So some will have to cut these, but there are guidelines on there if you have to. I do not, however, so I'm just going to place these directly on my lash line. So then once you have it placed where you would like it, take your Q-tip and this time really douse it and start thoroughly wetting your eye tattoo. And once you have them wet enough, they will just come off peel off pretty nicely. So that those are your finished, well, not quite your finished eyes, almost your finished eyes. I'm actually going to add black, liquid black eyeliner over top just to help define everything, and then a little bit of black in the waterline. So let's do that real quick. So in the waterline, I'm using this Skin, Skin Cosmetics Smudge Stick. It's a waterproof eye and lip pencil. Putting that in my waterline. This is in the shade Egyptian, oh, Cleopatra Black. And 
Then I'm going to go with this Victoria's Secret pen liner to line just along the waterline and even match and define that outer wing. The face I'm going to use a subtle contour. This is Too Faced Mil uh, Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in the shade Milk Chocolate. I'm using my e.l.f. Small Tapered Blush. Blush. Brush. Blush, once again, is really light. I'm going into the Stila Living Life in Laguna palette using this lightest pink right there on the apples of my cheeks. Just using that same e.l.f. blush brush. E.l.f. brush. Now for the lips and my favorite part of this look. This is Illamasqua's uh, lipstick in box. There you go. And it's the perfect matte velveteen red. Just ideal. My favorite. Probably for all of winter. Mascara. A huge part of this look. Must have. This is Maybelline's one by one volume express mascara. And that is it for my glitzy holiday party slash New Year's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!